Hi guys, I hope you're having a terrific Thursday. So I found another food that some people are intimidated to buy at the grocery store and try. And this actually came up when I was at Brandy's house um, at one of her kitchen demos where she taught us how to make um, bone broth and homemade soups. It was absolutely amazing. And so you should absolutely check, in, check her out, uh, Living Well with Brandy. Um, for those of you who are here in Springfield, she's doing some absolutely amazing things. And I learned some things about prepping butternut squash. And I will also tell you that if you are still intimidated after you watch this video, they sell chunks of butternut squash in the freezer section of your grocery store. So if it's not in season or you just don't have time or the energy to do it, just know that there's a shortcut, right? Okay, so here is our butternut squash. I'm gonna tip this down just a smidge so you can see better the squash. Okay, so um, here's our butternut squash, right? And um, they come in all different kind of shapes and sizes, but they almost always have this bell at the bottom. And this is actually where the seeds are in this kind of squash. So um, I love to, oh, I forgot my uh, peeler. I love to peel it first and I just use a regular potato peeler. It's a pretty hard outer shell and um, you don't have to get all of it, just get kind of the shiny part gone and once you start to see the flesh. In fact, hold on, let me go get my peeler. Okay, peeler like this, open the trash. I just peel it right into the trash can. Um, and so you can see it's now, you can see the flesh inside and we've gotten that outer layer off. Now you can go one more layer. Um, I think you can see that. The lighting's a little funny. See how it's even oranger, orangier, whatever, in there than it is on the outside. So you wanna peel the whole thing. You can cut off the stem if you want to. You can cut off the base if you want to. I tend to just sort of peel around it. And so once you have it all peeled, I'm left-handed so I have to go this way. Uh, then we're gonna cut between the bell and the rest of it. And this was the thing that Randy taught me that I thought made this so much easier because I've always tried to cut it long way first. Hey, Doris, how are you? And it just did not, like, you have to use a lot of force to get that to happen. So by cutting it into two smaller pieces, now you can just grab that bell, and yes, it takes some chutzpah as I chase it across the kitchen floor. I got it! Okay, and then you can see the seeds are inside, right? And so now we just take our spoon and we scrape the seeds into the trash. And just like if you've ever carved a pumpkin, so there's seeds and then there's also that uh, kind of webby stuff. You wanna just scrape all that out. And it's okay to take a little bit of the flesh of the squash with it. And we'll repeat the same thing on the other side. And then you're ready to cube it up. And so you can cook it just like that. Hey cat, thanks for watching. Or you uh, can freeze it from there for sure. I love to toss it with some olive oil and kosher salt and a little bit of cinnamon and roast it in the oven. Makes it great. You can use it as a fantastic ingredient for um, vegetable based tacos or like a burrito bowl. Uh, butternut squash is fantastic in there. And then um, I'm gonna use it tonight for our soup swap. 6.30 at my house, if you're in Springfield, come on over. And um, I'm gonna make an autumn butternut squash soup, uh, saute it with onions and apples, and then puree it. It's absolutely fantastic. Oh my gosh, it's so good. And I know it's not autumn anymore, 
But you know what? I wanted to make dinner. I wanted to do a video about butternut squash and I wanted to have soup for the party. And so three things in one, I call that a win. So thank you so much for watching. If you have another food in the produce section of the grocery store that you are like, I would really like to try that and I do not know what to do with it if I would buy it, please put that in the comments. I would love to know that and um, we'll, we'll do a live video about it. Like, why not? I'll go figure it out if I don't already know. Ask some friends. I love hanging out with smart people. If you found this helpful at all or if it put a smile on your face, Put me a little heart or a little hello in the comments. I would love that. And thank you so much for watching. You guys have a great day.